to the children with lusts, loved ones, wives, husbands, mothers and fathers, to all our friends and clergies, to our lost leaders. They are martyrs of this war against death with the pandemic COVID-19 virus. Hope is here. Elizabeth R. with the new dawn of world-class isolation centers. My name is Paul Augustine and I am the facility manager for Elizabeth R. Corporate Events Limited. My name is Majoko Dumi Abiodun. We are here in Enugu to build an isolation center. I'm so excited and I feel really honored to be in Enugu State, the coal city state. And I must really say that this is one of Nigeria's finest city, clean, serene, and truly, they are really in the hands of God. Um, basically, what we've come here to do is to set up an isolation center for the COVID-19 pandemic that is ravaging the entire world. Jobs done in Port Harcourt and other places. We are here, Shotland Abia and Enugu. We are efficient to achieve optimal within budgets and a stress free delivery that we will be just on time. I must really say that this is a very different experience compared to what we experienced in River State, basically. You know, um, here you have an existing structure where you need to do just to equip it as against the other one where we had to start all afresh from, you know, from construction. Between the process of going to Enugu to set up an installation centre, we also got a call from Abia State Government, or Kako Beach, basically, for Abia State's government, of course. And then uh, we have to show to Abia State and Enugu State. It was, uh, it was a journey that I, I enjoyed a whole lot, probably because I'm from 
various things. So for me, it was an opportunity for me to give back to my state indirectly. So in three days, we've shuttled Abia State thrice. You know, just to ensure that we meet up the target, target in the sense that we had a particular time timeline to, to deliver it. this event. And, uh, I am surprised at that because we were actually able to achieve that same time. We have proficiency in the professional skills of our certified workers who are well trained in the use of choices, actions and time. Uh, just an update on what we've been doing so far from the Petal team. We thank God for the success we recorded at the Petal Court Center. And after, our, after the execution of the Petal Court project, we have other sites to go and set up. Among uh, which is uh, Enugu Center and the Abia Center. We set out for the Enugu Center, which is our first point of call. We were warmly received by the state uh, government. They gave us a warm reception. Uh, reception. We went to the site, uh, Enugu Diagnostic Center. Our aim there is to set up uh, a 100 bed isolation center. We are providing the beds, the bedding, and the stand, and some of the medical supplies. Elizabeth R has the best facility and services to contain the dreaded coronavirus.
by looking at tomorrow, not yesterday, and all the things you left behind. Oh, those tender words you did not say, the gentle touch you couldn't find. I heard Elizabeth Ari a few years ago and I really must tell you that it's been very sweet for me. Sweet in the same that I've learned a lot of things, I've made quite a lot of, I've made a few connections, I've met a lot of people. Uh, but most importantly, I have developed uh, my management skills and my facilitated management skills. And working with uh, Mrs. Kibidon and Ito Aguidali, who is the CEO of Elizabeth Ari, is a blessing for me. Passion for people, a drive to get results. I mean, sometimes she just blows your mind. You start up this particular project and she tells you, No, I don't want this. You have to start all over again. I mean, very few bosses will do that. She's, she's not, she's not transactional. Whether she's transformational, she wants to, she wants to continue the relationship. She doesn't just want to make money and go. She's very concerned about related businesses. And that's one of the things that, um, in Elizabeth Park, we are one family. I thank our MD, Pastor Mrs. Guido Ole, for being there for us as a mother, as a madam. They have been there for us because in this kind of situation, it goes to human. My boss, hey my god. Well, I don't see her as my boss, I see her as a mother. Amazing woman, amazing woman. I would not lie to you, I'm not blowing her trumpet. She's such an amazing person to work with. And I don't think I can use any other thing to quantify her than to say she's amazing. In Elizabeth R, the customers, the workers, the company are the team with an MD that is functional in every sphere of our projects. Viable leadership is felt at work, the position at the market which includes the trillion on nature market survey trips. For a proliferative situation like the COVID-19, standard facilities to aid cautious and hygienic practices like the hand washing, nose guards, gloves, test kits, etc. must be put in place. It's not easy working when there's a pandemic and where you don't know who is the carrier of the COVID or you are working at every point in time, we keep, you know, reminding ourselves of the need to observe all the necessary social distancing, putting up your face mask, your nose mask, putting up, you know, continuous hand washing and what have you in order not to get any of our member infected. Um, to God be the glory, all the team members have been LD. No one has complained of any form of uh, sickness so far. And we thank God and we pray that God Almighty will continue to be with us and to bless us. We still have more other centers that we are looking at working. Of the COVID 19, that God might grant them speedy recovery and 
that all our the frontline workers, the health workers, we pray for a renewed spirit from God. All our scientists working on getting a solution to COVID-19. We pray that God might grant them the knowledge and the wisdom to achieve uh, a solution to this pandemic and that the world will return to normalcy as soon as possible. So in three days, you, we've shuttled Abia State thrice. You know, just to ensure that we meet up targets, targets in the sense that we had a particular time timeline to, to deliver these equipments. And um, I am super excited because we were actually able to achieve that same timeline. When you think prevention of coronavirus, think Elizabeth R.